closer to Chris Moody? And were you surprised to see him back? Um, Chris Moody, my roommate. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you you knew him yeah, yeah. So I, I already knew something was coming up today, earlier today. But um, I found out when he when he told me. Then was just like, I'm just telling him, be happy, come out there and play, ready to play. Did you recruit him? <laughs> nah, I ain't recruiting. I just tell him to just do what's best for you. That's all I tell him. I just wish you the best whatever you do. And I'm happy for whatever decision you make, I'm happy for him. Rico, what's it like to, be, to play in the secondary under Will Muschamp? Tough. <laughs> Can you tell he was a former walk-on defensive back? Or did nah. that come through? Or? Nah, I ain't know none of that. I just know you got to be tough and, and, and want to play. And he just wants you to play fast. He just wants the best for us. But he wants you to be tough and physical. That, that's the number one thing. And compete. So that's all. You're going you gonna, to you gonna have to compete or you ain't going to play. He, he told us last week about how that he has some concerns about the secondary. I mean, is that, is, it, is that expressed to you guys? Is he hands-on with you guys right now? See, he, he mostly worked with the safety. So I'm, I'm with Coach T-Rob all the mm -hmm. time. But um, he, he really read the safety all the time. So I, we really don't meet with him like that. But I just know you better compete. How much have you improved with, you know, obviously that extra focus on competing and playing well? Yeah, I improved uh, major because, you know, I just want to learn the game. Like, I want to learn the game all the time, but he going to make sure you know the game. You got to know what everybody got to do. And, you know, he just brought that, like, competitive out of me, like, back when I was little, like, just want to win all the time. He going he gonna to want that out. So that's what he brought again, like, just want to win and just, and just want to give you all for him. How different is the experience of playing corner, corner in this defense as compared to last year? Uh, no, nah, Kona just, it's, it's just Kona, he's just more physical, but like Kona bad, it's just, it's the same thing. It's more physical, does that mean that you're playing up a little closer to the line and jamming some receivers, or what does that entail, actually? Yeah, playing up close to the line, you know, just doing, just doing what, I, what I do best and stuff like that, but want to hit, not hitting low, just hitting physical. You know, it's just, it's a physical game out here. He old school, Pittsburgh still is tight defense. Switching over to a new defensive scheme. Uh, it's been kind of tough because it's a, it's a whole new defense for um, for me and everything. So I've been having like meet Escher with coach and stuff like that. Just stay, studying my playbook when I get home more because I, I ran the first the same defense for like my first two years, three years. Then I changed last year with coach Hope. Then trying to switch back over. So I ran three defense out of going on five years. So I'm I'm, lear I'm learning a lot of more defense, but I had to like know more now. Which you like the best? I, I, it don't matter. I just, I just want to play. When, whenever I got an opportunity to play, I just take advantage of it. What is the feeling coming in with this kind of somewhat rebuilding secondary and being a senior in that group? The feeling is like I'm like a freshman now because it's a whole new coaching staff, like like a totally different coaching staff. So I'm just like a freshman. I'm learning just like how they learn. I just, just know the game probably more than how they know it, but it's all new to me too. I'm, I'm taking the same learning stuff they take. You said this is a, a new defense. What makes this defense good? Like, what when, when they're pitching the, the defense to you? What what makes it gonna what, what makes it successful against an opposing offense? Um, really, any defense could be good. It just about this defense. You playing physical, so a, a physical defense. Gonna, gonna, I do in the offense. They playing physical and fast, and the defense that's knowing what to do. So with this defense, we gotta play physical and know and know how and know what to do at all times and. They could be in the offense if we do what the coach don't want us to do. So what are the wide receivers saying to you guys now? We playing physical. <laughs> <laughs> do, they, do they like that? No, nah, they don't like it. But at, at the same time, we're getting them better because they might go against a physical defense. So if they've been getting that the whole time in practice, and the game going to be easy, like we doing no tempo. So when we go against a no tempo team like Texas A&M, we're going to look how we look when we play Texas A&M. We're going to look ready because we've been going against a no t a no tempo team. Uh, tempo team. Y'all went live in practice the other day. Who who gave the biggest hit? Uh, Darren Smiles. Who, who do you, who do you get? Uh, <laughs> Y'all want me to say it? <laughs> he got Jamar pretty good. Jamar was stumbling though. I get it to him, but he got him pretty good. Did you get anybody? I got Dave Woods one time. Not like no crazy. He just had to make a tackle, but it was just really in the front. We didn't, we didn't play too good. As a whole, as a whole, offense and defense, we just got to get better. But we learning day by day. But we got to understand we only got 15 days, so this time, time don't wait for nobody. What was it that, that had you kind of staying out a little bit after today? Didn't have a good day. Didn't, <laughs> didn't have a good day at all on both sides, offense and defense. But right now, we just worrying about ourselves. Right now, defense is back. Didn't have a good day. The whole defense didn't have a good day, but. It just wasn't a good day today for nobody. You know, at least before today, it sounded like y'all were getting a lot of interceptions. Have y'all been picking off a lot of passes? 
Yeah, I think um, DB's had like um, three today. Me, um, Chris Moody, and Chaz Elder. They both my roommates too. <laughs> How does Chris Moody not practice or be in the playbook at all or scrimmages or anything and still come out and get an interception on the first day? <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> Mr. Pink playing quarterback? <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was in the right spot at the right time. <laughs>